Hello, hello, mic test. The price went up a bit. Uh, our balance is again around 10,000. And now again, the port, uh, portfolio value is zero and investment is also around zero. So yes, this is how simple uh, it is to make a trading bot. You can see there are just a few lines of code and we have also made a paper trading simulator here. And you can see all the information of, of this trading bot, the bot price, the portfolio value, the investment amount, etc. Hello financial programmers, I'm Ritwik Dashora and I'm back with a new video and some new learnings. This is the third video of our playlist on Finizon. Uh, if you remember guys, the first video was to explore the entire platform to understand how to get the API key and to explore the documentation. In the second video, we made a basic code on how to extract the financial information from their API in Python. You can see this is the code. <clears throat> I didn't use Streamlit in this video because I wanted to make it very simple. But yeah, definitely we can uh, make, a, make a web application, financial dashboard or something like that uh, through this particular API as well. If you uh, are interested to know how to do that, I have made multiple videos videos on Streamlit in the past and in fact an entire playlist uh, which you can refer and extend this particular code to make a complete full-fledged web application. In this video we are going to make a trading bot using Finazon API only and uh, uh, we'll be also referring to the paper trade simulator that I created a couple of years ago and it's one of the most uh, I would say popular videos on my YouTube channel. So first of all, thank you so much guys for giving me such a great response on that video. Uh, and I'll be using the same code in this video to make a trading uh, paper trading simulator. Uh, and uh, we'll be using uh, this API to extract real time prices with a very, very simple or basic trading strategy because I'm not focused on making a trading strategy here. I'm just focused on making the entire uh, structure, entire platform where uh, we can actually make paper trading here so before writing the code guys if you are new to my youtube channel on this channel i turn all my viewers to successful financial programmers here i upload videos related to trading bots implementation of ai in finance using some highly valuable finance apis um, making some pine script trading strategies etc etc so if there's something that you're interested in then you guys should click on the subscribe button and also hit on the bell icon because there are many more playlists that are upcoming on this youtube channel my already existing viewers and subscribers know that i upload videos every saturday so yes this will be happening in the future as well and your one click one subscribe will actually give me a lot of motivation to keep on providing this educational content free on youtube okay let's start with our code i am going to use google collab in this uh, video as well you guys can use uh, some other platforms as well like for example uh, Jupyter Lab or VS Code and uh, in the last video as well if you remember I used Google Collab this was the code that I wrote uh, in the last video and this is the API documentation and that we will refer in this video as well perfect so let me just copy and paste this entire code here right uh, the API key if you remember I pasted the API API key in the last video as well. I ran the code and then I uh, deleted the API key because I didn't want it to share it in the public platform. I'll do it in this one as well. So I'll just pause this video for a second. I'll paste my API key, run this particular cell and then delete it again. Perfect. I, r I have run my uh, API key. Now it is stored in this particular variable. So this was the code that we used uh, in the last video. I am only interested in the time series data because to make a trading bot, I just need time series. Uh, rest, I can actually keep as it is. Uh, I'll delete the SEC URL and this one is URL now, right? Let's see if we can get, if, if we're getting the data, uh, time series data, yeah. So this is the time series data of Apple. The US market is currently running. So um, this will change uh, if we run this co uh, code in some time. So basically the idea is I am act, uh, extracting the one minute candle data and the type of data that I'm getting is time stamp, right? This is open, high, low, close and volume, simple OHS, o OHLCV data that we are getting. Now the main idea here is that this uh, uh, data gets refreshed every minute. So when I run this particular code after one minute, you'll see that 173.8 611 open price will go to the second place and then we'll get the new uh, candle data 
So this is how we can actually extract the real time uh, prices as well. So let me just run it, run it. I think one minute has gone. And as you can see, this price has gone down as well. 173.7581 is here and the new candle is now created. So the, the idea is that uh, with every minute, this uh, URL is actually extracting the most recent minute candlesticks data as well so that's the thing that we will be doing we'll be using a normal for loop here or we can also use a while loop to uh, extract the data then sleep the code for one minute and then extract it again forever and this is how we'll be extracting the real time data for one minute candles and on the uh, like on this particular uh, streaming data we will actually be making a very simple or basic trading strategy and then we'll execute the orders on the paper trading simulator that i will talk about in some time so that's the entire structure of this video i will um, make the for loop in the next cell so for i in range let's just pick a very big number for now so for this many these many iterations this particular code will be running and we need to import the time library as well because we need to sleep our code for 60 seconds i will just directly copy this url and also the data here so every time this uh, url will get refreshed this data will get refreshed let me see the structure of the data here the entire information is uh, inside a dictionary which is basically a json format and uh, we have the key which is data and then inside it we have the information here so let me just go down to see what uh, how many uh, keys are there in this particular dictionary so dot keys this is one which is data so i can just directly call it like this now i think this one is a list let me just check it yeah, it's a square bracket. It means it's a list. Let's see what is the length of this list. It's 30. So it's 30 minutes of data, uh, which is displayed here. If I delete this particular one, and if I just write zero, so I should get the, uh, the last candle information here, <coughs> which is this one. Perfect. Let's make a trading straight strategy, very basic trading strategy that if, uh, so yeah, by condition is when uh, if uh, the the close price of um, this particular uh, of the last candle is greater than uh, the close price of the last candle which is one and then c we will get a buy uh, position again guys it's not a recommended strategy i'm just making it to see a lot of trades that's the main motive the sell condition here is uh, this one and it should be less than this one so yeah if this condition is satisfied then we'll have buy and sell conditions you guys can make your own trading strategy here <clears throat> but yeah first test it uh, before running it for the real uh, real money so that's always a recommendation from my side right now uh, the price is uh, basically also the uh, the close price so i can just see this is the price <clears throat> at which we'll be buying or selling uh, the security this should be sell condition yeah this is the price right in the real world it will be different because of the bid and ask spread but yeah just for the educational purpose let's consider the close price as the order execution price as well let's also print this right now let's run this particular code but before, before that i'll delete this one and let's see let's run this now <clears throat> every minute we should see some prices no it's not because i have not uh, used the time uh, this one so i'll just stop it i need to use time dot sleep 60 so it will sleep for 60 seconds let me run it again perfect so this is the first price which is 173.84 let's wait for one minute i will pause this video so yes guys one minute has gone and you can see the next candle price in front of you and yeah we are actually extracting the real time prices here now let me just stop this code again by clicking here perfect now the next thing uh, that i would uh, need to do is basically here i need to provide the buy and sell uh, functions here just uh, before that guys i have a very important information to share recently i launched a course on uh, python for financial programming so if you are trying to learn python for finance from scratch then this is something that you might be interested in just go to my website which is fpritvik.com slash python over here you will see two buttons indian candidates non-indian candidates so you can click as per your uh, location it will redirect you to this the main website where the entire course information is available you'll see that uh, there are five sessions 
10 chapters, 22 videos, 10 quizzes and 3 assignments with 2 live projects. And uh, uh, this is the entire syllabus of this course for all the people who are interested to learn Python from scratch and who are struggling learning Python on their own. I highly recommend it because uh, it's very, very affordable and I have covered a lot of things from a very, very simplistic eyesight. And in the end, in session 4 and 5, you'll see stock analysis and investment portfolio creation projects, which are my personal projects. We did it using some financial analysis. If you use RTK40 code, uh, you'll get an instant 40% discount, which is only available for the first 100 candidates. So yes, guys, I'll see you in the course. Let's come back to our code. Perfect. So the next thing that I will be doing is I'll be referring to the paper trading simulator that I created a couple of years ago. This is the video that I made uh, a couple of years ago, which is on paper trading simulator. You can go to my channel and check it over there. Also, I will put the video on the I button. You can just go there and watch it. Um, but yeah, I will uh, uh, take the exact code that I wrote in that video. Uh, for this video as well i highly recommend at least after watching this video you guys should watch that video as well because in that video uh, as well i i made a trading bot which is on bitcoin trading bot okay guys so this is the code that i wrote in that video uh, which is basically the tra uh, paper trading simulator the amount is ten thousand dollars right it's a fantasy paper trading amount the portfolio value in the beginning it's zero i am not holding any uh, stocks at the in the beginning so basically this portfolio will actually give us information on the <coughs> uh, amount of uh, stocks or in, uh, any trading instrument that we are considering for uh, this trading bot money end is basically the amount of money that is remaining in our account right that's the money end so in the beginning it will be amount basically the ten thousand dollars that we have that's the complete uh, portfolio uh, money that we have in cash right now investment is basically the order book uh, this list will uh, like keep on extending with the uh, with the trades that we are taking and it, it will actually give us information on the uh, amount that is in currently invested in the security right it will go up and down uh, depending on the the buy and sell signals that we are taking transaction cost if you want we can include this as well which is 0.75% in this example uh, for every trade it will deduct this amount of uh, i would say commission uh, from the profit right and these are the functions that we will uh, call uh, in our code as well so i i made buy and sell functions right and inside this we will just provide the quantity which is the number of shares or lots that we will consider for that particular buy condition and what, it, what is the price at which we are buying so we can actually place a limit order as well if you want then uh, this is the basic code you guys can go through it again i explained it in much detail in that video so i'll just quickly go through it so basically the idea is the money end which is the cash amount in the in the bank that we have which is ten thousand in the beginning it will keep on changing with the um, with the buy and sell conditions the portfolio value will also uh, keep on changing the investment which is the order book uh, which is a list which will like keeps on extending will also change and the same goes with the cell also so that's the entire system i will copy this thing and paste it here just before our, our for loop here and now here just uh, before the time dot sleep i will call uh, the buy and sell functions here so if buy condition is equal to true then in that case i want to buy right the first thing was quantity and the second thing was price right quantity and price so I want to buy, say, one share of the ticker. I think I took Apple, right? Yeah, I'm I'm uh, trading uh, with Apple uh, share. So it's trading somewhere around $175 right now. So we have enough money. We have $10,000 right now. So it's not a problem. So I will buy one share of Apple with the price of this one, which is the last, uh, what's the close price of the last candle. Let's also print a couple of things. First thing is bought at price. I want to see uh, the price level at, at which we are buying it. Right? We'll have to convert it into string and price. Second thing that I would like to print is what is the money that is remaining, which is the cash, which is remaining in the account right now, which is STR and then money end. The third thing that I would like to print is portfolio. Just how many shares are already uh, in the portfolio, right? So this one is string and portfolio and then the last thing that i would like to print is investment which will be string of investment the same goes with sell condition as well if sell condition is equal to 
true then i will sell one with the price of this one i'm calling the um the sell function here and let's just copy and paste this here i'll just change it to sold at price this one money remaining is this one portfolio is this one and then i think other things will be kept ex exactly the same and let's run this particular yeah it should be taking some positions perfect so the first price is 174 and uh, we have bought one share of apple the 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 price of buying is 174 only the money remaining is basically this one uh, which is 10000 minus 174 and some commissions as well so that's why it's in decimal points the portfolio it's one because we bought only one share and the investment in apple stock right now is 174 let's wait for one minute and let's see if, uh, what is the next position that we are getting perfect so we have sold it because the price has gone down right as per our trading strategy the if the price goes down we sell it so we sold the stock that we had and uh, the money remaining is now around 10,000 only. There's some commission cut because that's why it's in decimals. Um, and uh, the investment is close to zero only. Let's wait for the third candle as well. Perfect. So another candle uh, is, uh, I would say, has a lower um, close price than the last one. So you can see it's uh, the, uh, the, uh, the portfolio is minus one now. The money remaining has gone up by, <coughs> I would say, uh, higher than 10,000 because this particular uh, negative value is now reflected in the money remaining. And you can see the investment is now $173 in Apple. Let's just wait for the last candle and let's see if we square off this position as well. Okay, perfect. So yeah, the price went up a bit. Uh, our balance is again around 10,000. Um, and now again the port, uh, portfolio value is zero and investment is also around zero so yeah so yes this is how simple uh, it is to make a trading bot you can see there are just a few lines of code and we have also made a paper trading simulator here and you can see uh, all the information of of this trading bot the bot price the portfolio value the investment amount etc everything is in front of you we can definitely uh, make this uh, on a web application or uh, transfer it, this code on vs studio but yes I will stop this particular cell and yeah, that's it. So yes, guys. So if uh, uh, you guys are interested in this particular code, uh, my already existing subscribers and viewers know that I share my Google Drive access with my community members and I will definitely be uh, definitely be saving this code as well in the Google Drive. If you want to become my community member and get that particular Google Drive access, just search financial programming with Ritwik on YouTube. Click on my channel here and then click on this particular link, which is uh, Google Drive access. Uh, it will redirect you to this post and just follow these steps uh, to uh, become the Google Drive community member. You can see the cost of this uh, community is less than a coffee price. So yes, um, please join it. And this is how you'll be supporting my channel as well. Also, not only this particular code, there are many more codes that are saved on that particular Google Drive, including my trading bots in the past, my PineScript trading strategies, some of my personal codes and study materials, etc, etc. If you like this video, guys, one request, the content creation takes a lot of time and uh, uh, I just request you guys to like give me a like button down below and click on the subscribe button because it's just two clicks, free clicks for you guys, but it really helps. And if you guys want me to be involved in your project, I have started uh, providing freelancing services. And not only that, I now have a team of 11 experienced professionals. Just reach out to me on this particular email address and I'll... Um, reply as soon as possible thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end you can click here to subscribe to my youtube channel and over there you'll see this entire playlist on finazon uh, this is the last video of this playlist and over there you'll see my mt5 trading bot which got a huge support on uh, youtube i'll see you next saturday on the same channel keep learning keep financial programming until then peace